When we pray, we often want to rush into asking God to help us, or to help other people. That's understandable, but if you think about it, it is rather rude. If someone is going to ask us for help, we prefer them to be a little more polite than just blurting out their request. So why should we treat God differently? We've reached the letter T in this series of thoughts on prayer, based on the mnemonic ACTS. Adoration, Confession and, today, Thanksgiving. In Philippians chapter 4, verse 6, St Paul writes, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. Notice that he says to present our requests to God with thanksgiving. If you consider adoration as being about putting God in his rightful place, and confession being about putting ourselves in our rightful place, then you can perhaps think of thanksgiving as putting into place the connection between us and him. In thanking God for all that he's done for us, and for all that he's going to do for us, we remind ourselves that we can expect him not just to listen to our prayers, but also to answer them. So what can we thank God for? Well, there should be many things in our personal lives. That we have food, a roof over our head, that we've got friends, and of course that we've been saved by God. And there will be many other things that are personal to you. But how about the situation with the coronavirus? It is an awful situation, but even there there are things we can ask God for. People are recovering. Food and medical supplies are coping, at least in this country. Maybe things could have been better, but they could also have been much worse. There was an interesting article on the BBC website a couple of weeks ago, asking what it would have been like if this pandemic had occurred in 2005. While the internet did exist, far few people had it, and you couldn't stream video over it. So, no video chats with people, no streaming of our services. We would have probably been a much more cut off than we are now, and it would have been more difficult to cope. Also, we understand more about virology and epidemiology than we did 15 years ago, which means we're better about understanding the medical situation. So there's much to thank God about, both in our own daily lives and in the situation in this country. So let's not forget this. When we pray, let's take the opportunity to include thanks for all he's done for us, so that when we finally get around to asking him for help, we can do it in the confidence based on all he is and all that he's done for us and for others.